Hello everyone. Welcome to Hawkinson, Massachusetts. Cross country girls race versus Holliston. It's a field that I expect to be even more competitive than the boys team. Very strong runners on both sides. On the Hillers, two college commits running today. Greta Field to UMass Lowell and Olivia Jones to the University of Florida. The Hoppington team has incredible depth and very fast runners, to put it simply. But Holliston has a very strong team, a small team, but a very, very strong team of girls here to race today on the 2.8 mile Hoppington course. The race I expect to go off in the next minute or so. Set to start at 11, it is 10.59. This is Olivia Jones' first race in a while, coming off of an injury. I do believe Greta Field is also racing off an injury today, although I could be wrong. I don't think I can see her in the crowd. But either way, it's great to have some of the depth back at Hopkinson. forward to a very strong race today between both teams. We are fortunate enough to know the boys team has already run their race, so with one half down we're hoping to get the other half right now. Looks like they are set to go off any second now. The official raise this is gone. And here goes wave one. Holliston getting out to an early lead. Olivia Jones not far behind. Hope to Luca. Autumn Tumbleton, Grace Joy, and that is Lisa, I believe. But Holliston in the lead, headed to the forest. Olivia Jones, can she catch her before the race is through? Hope DeLuca hanging on to the chase pack there, or the lead pack there. And three hop and chase pack with that Holliston girl. And they just head into the forest right now. And it will be 15, 20 minutes before we see them again. The course today takes our runners onto Center Trail, down onto Wellzell, a very muddy, very steep and root-filled trail, very hard not to slip or hurt yourself. And then up Center Trail again onto Loop Road. Loop Road onto Field 13, which I've heard from the boys is quite muddy today as well. I think... Uh, Two of the boys have slipped on that trail, so we'll see how it goes for the girls' team. A few minutes in, wave two for the girls is about to go off. The official raises his gun for wave two. And wave two is off. Wave two, it looks like we have Kate Bouvet, Haley Glassburn, Katie Callery. Hard to tell from the view. Caitlin Barnes and Catherine. Hopkinson getting out hard here. Only one Holliston runner hanging on. The other three have fallen back. It's all good. And it's going to be Holliston in a pack headed into the woods with that Holliston girl. Oh, she's tucking behind, making maneuvers to try and stay out of the way. 
I think I was mistaken, or mistaken. I don't believe Greta Field is racing today. Traditionally, she is the number two girl for Hopkinton, so. I think we still have the depth needed. Incredible runners, Hope DeLuca, Olivia Jones. We should be able to hold them off. But Holliston out with the early lead there. And a strong pack not far behind. The Hopkinton lead pack, which unfortunately we are not able to see right now, is going to have to work hard to overcome some of those positions if they want to take the win today. Wave three for the girls team about to go off. If my eyes don't mistake me, I believe that is an all Hopkinton wave. Holliston with a small team, smaller team relative to Hopkinton. Official fires is gone, and that will be wave three. It is a horde of green out there. Hoppington runners going out strong, working as a pack. I imagine they'll split up as they go along the race, but right now, very strong start for Hopkinson cross country. Wave three. You can see the boys team spectating there on the side. Let's see if I can get them to wave back. There we go. Hopkinson boys team successfully taking the win today as girls wave three head into the woods. When we first see them then they're going to be coming out like over there, kind of where the turf is. Really? Oh. <laughs> mm. Yeah, COVID restrictions are tough. Speaking of restrictions, we are fortunate enough to have spectators allowed here today. Uh, each competitor was allowed two spectators for the race, so fortunately parents are able to come and watch their children, of course with masks and social distancing for the safety of the runners and themselves. Coming up on 11.06, I imagine wave one girls are approaching mile one at this point. and will now begin making their way up center trail to Loop Road. Again, it is a two point, roughly 2.8, 2.9 mile course. So a bit under a 5K. Not a lot of hills, but some challenging terrain with the mud on field 13 and Wellsell Trail. Of course, we're fortunate enough to have a finish that is nice and flat great for people who have maybe some more 800 400 speed it's warmed up here in Hoftonton from the boys race still quite crisp, quite windy. However, fortunate enough to have the sun out. If you look down on the track, you'll see Colby Michaud, a varsity runner for Hoppington.
most of the boys team it seems has already left hard to talk without any runners in sight, but we're hoping that Hawkins is going to be able to push through here. Olivia Jones, University of Florida commit, starting in second place behind Holliston. We're going to hope she has the endurance to catch up, but of course it's not the first place finisher that matters. Holliston took first for the boys race and they still lost, so we're going to need some depth to come up. The secondary pack, Autumn Tumbleton, Lisa, many underclassmen in that upper pack, Hope DeLuca, Grace Joy. We're going to see if they're going to be able to catch the Holliston girls. There were, I believe, three Holliston girls in Wave 1. Or four Holliston girls in Wave 1, but three in front of that pack. So we're going to see if Hopkins can catch up. As we've seen in past couple of races, Hopkinson likes to work as a pack here, so we're hoping they're going to be able to push each other and catch up to Holliston, but it's all speculation. At least for another, I'd say, seven, eight minutes. gust of wind you can see on the turf field baseball practice taking place it's a very active fall day here in Hawkington, Massachusetts lots of sports practicing or competing all against Holliston as for the new requirement. Wow, this guy's pretty good. He just cannot miss. Huh? Let's see if he hits this one. Ooh. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. There we go. That's a hit. Right into center field. Good job. I don't even think he swung at that one. It is 11-12. At least five more minutes, probably more, until we see the girls team come out. Officials having a nice chat near the end. Wonder what they're talking about. Foul ball. Oh no, actually, that's on inside. inside. Whoa, big hit there. Foul, I believe, but still. I don't know, that looked inside to me, but you make your own judgments.
This guy just cannot miss. My god. What's that, three in a row? Whew. Four in a row. Can we get some get some coaches around here? Some D one commit. Oh, I don't know who this guy is, but Yeah, the boys team did win this meet. Uh, I believe we got two, three, four, and then six and seven. It was a close one. Halston does have some good runners, but we were fortunately able to clinch the win. Oh my gosh, this guy. Insane. I don't know if any of you are watching our coaches for major D1 schools, but pay attention to the batter on the turf field down there. He is doing an incredible job. Looks like they've run out of balls. 11-15. Expect within three, four-ish minutes we're going to start seeing the lead pack emerge. I didn't even notice there's a guy in the corner of the field down there playing uh, lacrosse, it looks like. Looks like he's doing a good job. Ah, tried to pick it up, but he missed. Oh, missed twice in a row. This guy's struggling. Oh! Here it comes, lead. In the lead is Holliston. Coming up along the side. Wow. Coming through much faster than I anticipated. Olivia Jones, it looks. 80, 80, 90 meters behind. It's not to spare quite yet, though. Oh, looks like another Holliston runner coming in in the third spot. Let's see how this plays out. Headed into the final stretch on the track here where they started. I do not know who this girl is, but it is her race to win or lose at this point. With Olivia Jones far behind, she's going to really need to kick to pull it off right now. Olivia Jones pushing with all her might. The cadence is picking up, but will she be able to catch her? Holliston coming in in third. Looks like it's going to be 1 2 or 1 3 for Holliston. Another Holliston coming in for fourth spot. One, two, three, or one, three, four. Here's to hoping their four and five are far back somewhere, maybe tripped or, oh. There's the fourth Holliston runner coming through. And that's uh, Lisa, I believe. From Hopkinson, second for Hopkinson. Er, is that Autumn Tumbleton, the sophomore? I'll be damned, that's Autumn Tumbleton. The sophomore. In, uh, what is it, fifth place for this race. Oh, here we see Olivia Jones finishing up on the track, or the football field. 
Hope DeLuca. Oh my gosh. I think Autumn Tumbleton might catch that Holliston girl. Hope DeLuca, Lisa, and Grace trying to rally. I, You know, I never expected Autumn Tumbleton to be second for Hopkinton. I, I don't mean that as an insult, Autumn, if you're watching this post-race. post, post race. Good work. Let's see if you can catch this Holliston girl. I do think Holliston is going to get the win here today, though. They have a very strong team. Very, very strong field. They've already finished one and three, and it looks like they're going to get the fourth spot here. Let's see if Autumn... Able to kick it in. It's going to be tight. Autumn trying to rally. Autumn kicking it in. Can't she recover that gap? Oh, it's going to be tight. Looks like Holliston 1, 3, 4, and 5. Hoppington 2 and 6. Here comes Lisa, followed by Hope DeLuca and Grace. Grace kicking it in. Oh my gosh. Is Grace going to catch Hope? Oh my god, Grace is going to catch Hope. Oh, what a kick. That is impressive. Incredibly strong performances by both teams. Autumn Tumbleton, the sophomore, finishing second for Hopkinson. This is a great race for her. Katie Callery in the second wave. I think that's Katie Callery. Yeah, that's Katie Callery. In no man's land right now. First in the second wave, trying to finish strong. Here comes Holliston's five runner. Technically, if we get enough Hopkinton runners to displace her, we could still win if she takes like last place. Because of the sheer point value. But uh here we see Hopkinton coming in. That is Haley Glassburn kicking it in. A strong race for Hopkinson today, but that Holliston team is tough. Katie Cowery kicking it in now. Kitty Cowery will be followed by Holliston, I believe. Yep, there's Holliston. And uh, I can see Kate and Catherine not far behind. Here comes Holliston finishing up. Fifth for Holliston right now. Oh, she's kicking it in. Hopkinton usually with incredible depth. Haley Glassburn finishing up. Not far apart at all, these Hopkinton girls. Here comes Caitlin Barnes. And another Holliston girl. 
Kate Bouvet and Catherine. Oh, it's Catherine going to catch Kate. Oh my gosh, I think Catherine's going to catch Kate. We have a lot of Hopkins in on Hopkins and out sprints today. Come on, Kate. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think Catherine got that one. There's something about the final 100 meters that really makes people want to beat their teammates. Looks like Caitlin Barnes and Halston. Caitlin with a fair lead. Going into the final stretch, we should see the third wave of Hopkinson girls coming through pretty shortly. That baseball player refusing to quit. Oh, my God. Sorry, I know this is a cross-country race, but this guy is just going off right now. Caitlin Barnes finishing up, kicking it in. Hollison also kicking it in. I think Caitlin's going to be able to hold her off, though. Uh, she's pushing it. She's grinding it out. Oh, my gosh. No, nah, no, nah, she can't get that. Nah, Caitlin's got it. Caitlin's got it. All right, we are good. It was close, though. That was another 50 meters she might have lost, but we're good. Here we see uh, who's that for Hopkinson and Holliston. I do believe that is. I have no idea who that is. I got to be honest. I think that's a fresh. Oh, no, that's Emily Graber. Emily Graber. That Holliston girl rallying against her. Can she? Oh, God. Headpiece almost fell off. My headset, I mean. I'll be honest, commenting on tating on races is a lot easier than running them. Oh, Greta Field finishing up with her teammate there. Uh, I believe that is Sinead Her finishing up the race now. This Hopkinton pack really is spread out. As expected. Hey, if you remember, they were a nice big happy family at the start there. Look at those two dogs down there. Very well behaved dogs. Here comes Holliston finishing up. Oh! Looks like we're going to have a battle on the football field. Coming down. Emily Graber versus that Holliston girl. Oh, Emily Graber is going to rally though. I'm pretty sure it's Emily Graber. That might be your sister. But, uh, yeah, Emily Graber's going to rally today. Again, that famous Hopkins in depth. Here comes Greta Field. And another Hopkins runner. Finishing up. Finishing strong today in Hopkinton, Massachusetts. Sinead Her finishing up, kicking it in, as is the Hopkinton style. Another Holliston runner. I feel like Holliston is coming in with more runners than... Oh. She doesn't know. She thinks we're going on the track. I feel like Holliston, there's more Holliston girls coming in than actually started the race. There were like eight, and now I feel like there's ten or twelve. That might just be me. 
Uh, I believe that's Nina Underdaw. Yep, Nina finishing up the race today. Oh, I think she might catch her if she kicks. Not far behind at all. Oh! Nah, I think Allison's going to get it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is the third time Hopkinton has outkicked Hopkinton. Another Hopkinton kid coming in. Uh, I feel like we still have a few more runners out there. But. Uh, kicking it in. Good work, Hopkinton. I think that's a freshman kicking it in. Strong finish. Very strong freshman class, both, both uh, boys and girls, so. Good to see the legacy of Hopkinton dominance will continue. Uh, Julia Markey finishing up right now, kicking it in. Yeah, that's Julia. Someone said Isabel, and I thought I got her name wrong, but no, that's that's Julia. Austin kicking it in. Oh, that's Isabella. I see. That makes a lot more sense. I feel like there are more girls on the course, but I don't see anyone else. Right now, at least. Strong race by the girls here today in Hopkinton, Massachusetts. A lot of solid efforts on all fronts. Autumn Tumbleton, I'm still... She took second. That was a very strong race for Autumn. Hopkinton, Massachusetts. Strong race for all varsity girls today. And, uh... I believe that might be it. I'm not certain. There's a solid chance there's someone else out there, but I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'm Nick Brown. This has been Hopkinton Cross Country Girls Race versus Holliston. It is October 17th. Thank you all for being with us.